Yes, or, or that like, is correct. You clicked it? As you do it. that... I was going to say, have the bodyguard click it, uh, man. As uh. you do that, you just, you just pick it up, and you shift over, and you notice the... As you're about to click it, you notice that it has two different sides. Uh, the Ooh. top part is red, the bottom part is kind of pink. Hmm. As you're about to click it. Um... Let's uh let's put it back to where the original location is, but let's do a flip around and give me the pink side. All right, original location, pink, pink. side. Pink up. A uh, pink up. Yeah. It still contains the emanate. So nothing happens. I mean, are you just doing the solo then? Because Alexander's in the corner and we're in the other room. Yeah, you're in the other room. Oh. You don't know what's going on. You're yeah. checking out the curious. construct. You were, you were All right, Bill, nothing golem. is happening. All right. Um, I'm going to stay I'm on protecting him from the golem. On pink side, up one, click it one to the right. Okay, uh, you're flipping it over. You're pink side up, but rotating pink it? Side. Correct. Okay, all of a sudden, the ground starts shaking. <laughs> and then it's silent. Everyone's kind of... is back to normal in silence, and... The the light fades from the gym. You don't know what just happened. Atlas runs over, assuming that something must have happened to cause a earthquake. And then all of a sudden, you hear kaboom, 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 kaboom. It's just emanating from the the gem itself, kind of in the apparatus, repeating this alteration pattern. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and then it stops. To... Did the pattern repeat at all? It just, it just kind of did the same thing over and over. This pounding noise that was um, deafening. Did it? Did it sound like it was? Uh, uh, Drew... I'm gonna have the the go around. And back up to where everyone else is. Sorry, what you you uh, broke up there? I think your connection was spotty for a second, where you're trying to talk. Um, so I'm gonna have the golem. Yeah. Go a golem. This whole way around here. Okay, I can barely hear you, but I got I got I got what you're trying to say. Have the golem go around. I don't have a proper image for him yet, so I will just uh. Go around and fell. Um, you were talking about something. I, I was looking to see if it was an actual pattern. Um, was it was it something that sounded like a a secret knock, a code, or something like that? Or it it is really weird. The, it, the apparatus is actually kind of making this noise. It resonated throughout the deep earth. Um. All right. I want to just take a quick glance around, um, head through, see if anything looks different. Uh, nothing really looks different. No, everything's all kind of... Yeah. All right. Um, give me a one-second, Atlas. Um, I want to just check really quickly, just glance up the stairs, and I guess really just up to here. Anything look different in the cave here? Uh, no. Nope. Nothing. Oh, uh, how far are you going into the cave? Just, just, I'm not going through the secret wall there, just into okay. here. Nope, nothing looks different. All right. Uh, you guys um, moved the stone out of the way already, so it's not a, a threat. Right. There are a couple, like, extra bits of stone, fist size, the, like, gnome size, like, strewn around the, the walls, just from the pure shaking. But everything seems to be okay. Right now, Atlas Alexander Banner, any uh, can we at least locate like the rumbling came from everywhere, or was it in at least a direction? You th it felt e emanating from this apparatus, oh, okay, but it emanated outward in all directions. All right, uh, I want to go, I don't know, and the the, the prismatic gem. Is now dull and it's pitch black in here now. 
Uh, I flip it. So over. Alexander cannot. I'm gonna. See. I'm gonna cast light on a on a ball right. bearing. Make That's sure fine. that you can all see. Is is the gem entirely dark? Yes. It's uh, the other side dark. of it too. It's not giving any light at all. Um, I want to shift it back to its original position. Nothing. The gem is. Uh, Actually, roll a d10 real quick, or d20. I always say d <laughs> d10 recently, but yeah, it is dark. It's completely dark. I um, Dead. I may have broken it. You may have broken it. I may. Have um, uh, let me let me check this out real quick. Um, perception. Ah, fuck. Do I think he has broken it? Do I think that the that there was a trap that? Yeah, you don't think you, you think it's just gone. The 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 gem is is faded. You don't know anything about this type of thing. It's completely new to you. All right. All right. Uh, Fell retry all the combinations. Just keep flipping it. We've got like, a bunch of possibilities here. All right. What's everyone else doing while he's doing this? Better be I Jonathan. Guess. Sword swings, practicing, actively right. looking away from everyone. Just... All right. Very well. I'm just. I'm still investigating the the golem. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're just and Atlas and Phil are just looking like two cavemen, hmm. <laughs> flipping it over. Uh, nothing. Yeah, it's 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 not even warm to the touch anymore. The gem there's no hum. There's no hum. hum. There's nothing. It's complete silence. Complete darkness now. All right. So how about this? How far up the caves did you go? I didn't go past the secret. Uh... I mean, we can go check it out. I say. How much does this cube weigh? Obviously, you're able to lift it up and rotate it. Can we take it with us? Yeah, it's, it's, that... it's about it's about ten pounds. Okay. Uh, not very. Whoever dense. wants to carry it, carry it. But I want to ensure that nobody else can come here and either undo, redo, change whatever we did. I want I want the power. I'll I'll take it. Um, and actually, the, does the gem look the same on both sides now? Yeah, yeah. Be able to tell. It seems, but the inner light is gone. I mean. You're kind of this grace. Well, the light's been cast now, so you can kind of see the pink side, the red side, but there's no inner light shining from within the cube. Um, Dan, or just for for shits and giggles, if you if you'd cast a light on this thing itself, yeah, I just want to see if any uh, magic. Yeah, I can I can go ahead and cast light on it. Um... I'd also like to. I'd also like to see if I can figure out what's going on with it. See if I catch anything that anyone else didn't. Absolutely. Uh, perception. Arcana. 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 Yeah. Uh, you don't really. You cast light on it. And it lights up, doesn't quite look the same as it did before. But uh, you can't seem to discern anything from this gem. As you hear Alexander's sword swings in the silence, cut through air. All right. Why don't, why don't we give the, uh, give the stone to the golem for right now? And uh, I agree with Atlas that we shouldn't leave it here. And why don't why don't we head back up and out? Uh, sure, I uh, I command the golem to pick up the stone and follow. Can we put the and I'm just saying, can we put the the gem in that chest and then some books in the chest and have the construct carry that as well? The chest because does, does big, not right? quite fit it. Oh, okay. The construct or no, the the cube won't fit in the chest. Oh. Um, okay, well that's fine. Um, I just want to make sure. I don't know why we would necessarily come back to this place, but the more we take out of here, the better off we are in trying to sell it uh, well, <laughs> and pay for pay for Alexander's plastic surgery. How much? Uh, how much can I get the go the the construct to carry? Oh, it's quite a lot. It's just however much it can carry in its hands. 
Oh, in its hands? You... I mean... It... We don't got a bag or anything for it yet. No. Yeah, uh, it could carry... You know, loose items, not very much, like one or two things. Because it it would have to do this, unless you just wanted to do that instead. But then it could not attack and would not grant you a shield bonus. While it was carrying things. All right, um, let's have it carry the gem and the chest with whatever we can fit in the chest, like okay. one in each hand. Okay. And one then the rest of us can carry books or whatever, whatever we can carry out. All right, Danerby, yeah, you're actually, you can't really carry much more. You're already right. kind of encumbered, but you're not really heavily encumbered yet. Yeah, I've got like a small book, I think. That's about all I can handle. Um. But, yeah, I say we grab what we can and go further into the caves and check there. Obviously, nothing changed in here. Maybe Fel broke it. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, we got it with us right now. Um, let's head up. All right, you head up. All right, guys. So you are you move your way up as this kind of screeches through this uh, five foot hallway, but you can actually see, interestingly enough, marks uh, going the other way, where this creature has squeezed in before. Just because it's 10 feet doesn't mean it can't squeeze through a 5 foot area. Alright. Let's, uh... Since I, I... I'm not even thinking of a purpose of stealth right now. Um, let's head up here and let's look out. Okay, you look out. And Everything seems it. okay right now. Let's run over here. Okay. Yeah, everything. Oh. No one's in here. All looks the same, huh? Yeah, perception in this room real quick. Sure. Looking around. Ulfbert. All right. I can change its name to Ulfbert. Oh, you don't have to. That's just, that's just my personal name for it. Since it responds to me psychically, I don't think it really matters what it's called. It doesn't matter, but it's now on there. <laughs> um, nothing, you can, no, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Alexander, you're kind of looking around. Your eyes haven't quite adjusted. Danerby still has a ball bearing of flight in his hand, as I'm assuming, right? Yeah. All right. It's shining around. You can't really see much, though, Alexander. What are you guys doing now? Um, head down to the main entrance right. there. Uh, weapon Make drawn. Perception. Sure. Alice, you too. Let's, uh, let's hope you didn't break it here, Phil. Let's hope you didn't break it. Uh, you definitely were the one touching it last. And oh, made the light go away. And made an earthquake happen. And did it without consulting anybody else. I probably fixed it, to be honest. All right. Um, those are your new perceptions. Alright, yeah, you're good. Um, you see the opening. It's, as you're looking up, it actually looks very constructed the way that it collapsed. It looks like it was something was actually built over that circle area. And eventually time, all the dirt and leaves that had decayed, built up a dirt layer on top of it and corroded it until someone finally stepped on it and it came clashing down. So it looks like it's act that was actually an access point that was just weakened. But, uh, yeah, you guys are good. You want to start going up? Um, yeah, but not first. <laughs> Atlas. All right, Phil, wanna... as you go there, everyone roll initiative as these... Beings painted black or tattooed black drop out 
off the sides of the cavern wall and rush to attack you. Oh, man. I, I don't have been, Alexander would have been not too far behind him, or can I not even say? Uh, Wait, you... Maybe there? You'd be a little bit further. You'd be right, still behind Atlas. All right. uh, you weren't saying anything about that as uh, they were moving in. And Fel just kind of took off. So. Plays with traps by himself, runs into assassins <laughs> by himself. Uh, not really, though. Ah. It's always worked out. Hey, but hey, that's okay. Oh yeah. All right, uh, Atlas, you're surprised by this. You don't get a turn, Phil. You don't get a turn. You just see them drop by. You start getting ready, and this one rushes over to you. And uh, you'll notice this. Oh, I guess I have it whispering to GM. It's all right. I can not do that to you guys real quick then. As it has, it's wielding a rapier, actually. And it makes two attacks this round. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, it was my, uh... Tablet. What's its fighting stance? What are you talking about? I love you. Drunken monkey. What are you talking about, son? I want to know what it's fighting stance. What does it? A, you don't even recognize it. You're not, <laughs> you're not, um, whatever, honorous. <laughs> Alright. So it makes two attacks. Two rapiers. Oh, I already clicked two rapiers. Oops, my bad. Alright. Um, 11 verse AC? And it, oh, uh, it has 20. advantage. Shit. So I'll just... The second one, 23 for AC. 23 hits. All right. And then a, one more attack. I thought I hit... Yup. Eh, all right. It's Automatic. going to roll one more time. Oh, that is advantage. It says right there. Okay. So... 10 and 6 damage. The first okay. damages. Uh, is it... And then... As a bonus action, disengages you, goes over to Atlas, has a rapier pointed in your face there. Then this guy goes right there, and he assumes a different stance. He's kind of more defensive, but he only attacks once. 17. Uh, that's a hit. Well, yeah. All right, four points of damage. Uh, Danerby, you're unable to act. Ulfbert's unable to act. Alexander's unable to act. It's, you just see these ninjas, or these creatures just appear out of nowhere, it seems. They are ninjas. Confirmed. <laughs> and Atlas, it's your turn. You, you're able to compose yourself now and act. All right. I'm attacking... Uh... This guy right here. Okay. The non-defensive one. Um, or, you know what I mean. Yeah, the non-defensive one. Alright, 13 is not a hit. The 26 is. For one damage. Yeah. That's uh, pretty bad, but... Yep, that's fail. Turn. It's your turn. These guys just appeared out of almost nowhere. Rush to attack um, you, slash twice at you, and ran over to Atlas. All right, uh, let's let's drop the um, ensnaring strike uh, bonus action and all. Okay. Say what it does next time you hit a creature. All right, so I don't even necessarily have to hit. Uh, I'm gonna go for um, dude who struck me. Okay. It's this guy. Uh, 18 hit him? 18 does indeed. Alright, so just he'll barely. Take 11 points of damage. Um, 
He must now also succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines. 20? He makes it. The vines back. come up and he just cuts them down in one fell swoop, not even looking at in your direction. All right, well. Attack number two. 15 does not. You, you're in your frustration. Just let loose an arrow. And he almost instinctively just backhands it. And it gets cut in two with his rapier. I'm going to drop back. Okay. Uh, it's their turn again. This guy actually tum uh, disengages as a bonus action. Comes right there. Looks at you, Alexander. And he will make how many attacks? Shit. He'll make three attacks on you. Twenty-five. All right. So you take twenty points of damage as he just sc uh, scouring your armor, and he that little chunk that was blown open with that black ooze that every single one of them just reaches in there and cuts you hmm. alright um, this guy's turn he's going to just move to there and he is going to he has a defensive stance oh shit half his speed is, is reduced Oh, he's right there, right? So... He can't get there. He can only get... He can only get to right there. He, he oh, wait, no, tumble, and, uh... Tumble through my space. Yeah, he could. Uh, and remember, I actually don't take all that damage because I still got the heavy armor thing. That's right, you still do. So, it's actually three different attacks, so it's yeah, minus so. nine from that damage, so... Just add plus nine. Um, and... He could tumble through, but he actually can't. He is in a certain stance. Doesn't allow him to do that. He's very slowly moving his way over there. He cuts at you there, Atlas, as a rapier strike. 24. And it hits. Alright. 11 piercing damage. Damn. Danner B. Alright, I'm going to crossbow him. Okay. Uh, this guy. By the way, o in front of me. yeah, Ulper actually does go on your turn, so you know. Okay. So you command him. Um, is that an action to command him, or does he get his own action? You just tell him. I believe. I mean, we do we both get to attack though? Yeah, you both get to attack. Okay. So I'm gonna crossbow him. By the way. um... Any damage that you take, um, I take half, and then he gets the other half. Yes, right? he gets the other half. Yeah. Just so you know. Okay, so that didn't do a whole lot. And then uh, he's going to. That doesn't he's hit. Gonna, he's gonna unleash that spell on that guy. All right. Oh Which god. Could be really good or really bad. Oh, bad space. I'm sorry, yeah, Alexander. Um, all right, let me look at oh, cool. chain lightning here or lightning bolt away. Oh it no! <laughs> uh, Damn it! Sparkling it energy <laughs> emanates from his hand. He <laughs> let's loose. Uh, oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, you had to find out what was in there. Okay, well right. then. I need to find it. It's right here. <laughs> one second, I'll be right back while they're. Yeah, it's a yeah. hundred foot line. Yep. Hundred oh, foot. Dang. So anyone in this line, and lines are actually different. They're kind of. Thank God. It hits every. No, it hits everyone. It's, they're, they stagger. Uh, if that makes sense. They lines in fifth edition. They 
stagger like that. So it actually hits everyone, even his ally. Oh, it's I'm so like, sorry. Um, let's uh, see. Like here, then here, then wouldn't, here. Wouldn't hit me on a stagger. Yeah. I don't think. So, yeah, it doesn't hit you. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't hit you. Yeah, I don't I'm, think. I'm doing the. Um, I mean, make sure on this though. I don't wanna. I don't want to uh, accidentally say everyone gets hit when they shouldn't. So let me make sure. All right. Yeah, Spells I mean, in a straight path up to its length and covers an area defined by its width. Uh, line's um, point uh, of origin is in... okay. It, never mind. Can't it only do like three targets too? No, that's chain lightning. Oh, what's this? You right. All right, five feet wide. So this is lightning bolt. Ah. Okay, so it's emanating from this. So it's. Eh, it just barely misses you, Atlas. Yeah. So everyone it's made my, my a. Uh, I have it written down here. Every well. That guy, Alexander, and the other guy make a... Dex. I, I have the DC for it. I wrote, I wrote the spell down and what it uses. Jesus. All right, Sorry, at least guys. I thought I did. Hey, we can bring him back. We got a potion. He's not going to die, die. Like, it, it's fine. All right, he will receive magical healing. Apparently, I didn't. Um, so what is your deck? What was your spell casting modifier? Um, I just looked this up a little while ago and I forgot. Oh, wait, hey, only me. Um, in modifiers for a third a level, for a third level spell. Well, actually, it would be the other guys, spell wouldn't it? Not matter. yours. No, it doesn't. Spell level doesn't matter anymore. It's proficiency plus your. Modifier. If if that was a wizard, plus his int modifier. So whatever his proficiency was, okay. plus his uh, so spell modifier. His proficiency would be. Well, my proficiency is three, and my spell modifier should be two for wisdom. So five, but it's, but uh, it actually isn't be it, isn't it class or class level two? No, no, it's eight plus those two things. I think is the thing. Uh, Correct to figure out thirteen. Out. So that, 13. Sounds, that sounds right. All right, so make a dexterity well, saving time. throw, uh, Alexander. Dex. They will do the same. No. And one guy gets advantage on it. Not the first guy, though. First guy succeeds. Second guy also succeeds with advantage because his uh, stance. Um, oh, wait, that? no, that's different. Uh, that hits the second guy, so people who failed. Oh, God. You take... 30 points of lightning damage. Oh. oh You're still alive, right, Jonathan? Yeah. And yeah. The, this other guy takes half. His lightning <laughs> emanates from his hand. All right. That's is his there, action, though. Is there anything flammable? Not on them. Right. It's in the area of it, but. Yeah, no, it's nothing's flammable. Um, Darn it. All right, Alexander. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, all of a sudden, have zero crossbow bolts. Whoops. Uh, I will make my two swings at the guy next to me. Actually, there's no way that I could get the advantage from here. I mean, he's got three people on him, but you could. Have, you have advantage. advantage. Yeah. Okay. It's overwhelming advantage. For all right, I'll take my two swings at him. Oh. Yeah, it, it, he just kind of flips you off as you you go for him, and he just kind of kicks you. Uh, sixteen does not hit. Okay. Um, is second wind without me looking up? Is second wind a bonus action? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can just do it. One d one d ten plus your fighter level. Okay. All right. That's right. We did short rest. Yep. So, so you, you have all your abilities back if they recharge on a short. All right. I get nine more. All right. Atlas. 
Uh, I'm gonna mess up this guy right here next to me. Uh, right, 21 hits. Alright, 13. 13 does not, but 13 <laughs> points of damage. Um, Bell? It is your turn. Unless, Atlas, you want to do anything else. I just want him to know I'm better than him. So, when I slash him, I just hope hope he understands. Okay. Uh, let's... <laughs> let's take a shot at uh, the Dragonborn. Okay. Uh, 24 <laughs> does hit. He was already... Oh, yeah, he's uh, lightning bolted anyway. Yeah. So, we'll add... All right, another seven. So sixteen. And then he's not looking too good. Uh, Eighteen hits. And then with twelve well, damage on. All way. right, he is looking very bad. Um, luckily, it's his turn, and he just closes his eyes and focuses as his wounds begin to bind. Bitch. <laughs> Little bitch. That's right, close your eyes in front of me. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why it says six piercing. It doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't uh, <laughs> do that. But anyways, um, heals for 14 points as a bonus action. And then looks at you coldly, Atlas, and unleashes a fiery dragon breath. Bitch. DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Oh, I got this. What? Why does it. Dragon Boom. Breath is not a. Wow. Oh, so yeah. he, he goes to fire breath me, and I flip him as I'm coming back down and back up again. Alright, take half. Uh, take um, three points of damage. Uh, and then I'll take even. I'll take another. I'll take one, two of that, yeah. really. Yeah. Alright, so. Um, that's his. Well, as a movement, he goes over here again this guy let's see how many attacks he gets to make and he looks over at you gnome and looks over at this old man beside him one for each of you oh sorry that was a d4 now i need i need a d2 come on all right one for each of you this first attack is against you alexander 18. Alright, 11 points of, well, 8 points of damage because of your armor thing. And this other is for you, Danner B. 12 points. Hey. Uh, our 12 does uh, not hit. Does not hit. And the shield kind of. Yeah, don't add that under your AC, just remember it. If it, because yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It would normally be Danner B's turn, but all of a sudden, four ropes. Oh, fucking a! Wait, I missed it. Your 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 mic's off, Matt. Four humanoid figures in armor start descending. They don't appear to be necessarily colored or tattooed or anything like that, but they start descending. They get down thirty feet, essentially. They spend their entire action. And movement getting down half speed uh, they get down to about 30 feet above the ground I will add them into initiative now all right Dannerby it's your turn all right um, I am I'm still just gonna shoot this guy right in front of me with a crossbow a disadvantage by the way because you're right up front Next to him. Um, well, I've got uh, I've got crossbow ex expert. Oh, does that allow you to not have that? Um, it allows me to ignore anything from sh shooting at cor at close range. Oh, that's nice. Good to know. And also allows me to not uh, to ignore anything about like reloading or any of that nonsense. But awesome, go for it. Yeah. Has this guy Advantage. been hit at all? Yeah. He has been. Yeah, that that guy's. He uh, yeah, I he's been him. hit. Uh, Seventeen hits with advantage for two points of damage. Sweet. 
Um, and that's... I'm actually going to move... No, never mind. I can't because I have to disengage. Yeah. I can't. I, I always forget that five foot step doesn't exist anymore. All right. And then uh, that's all for that's all from Danerby. Okay. Uh, Ulfbert is going to do his multi attack. Okay. Go for it. He attacks twice. Two fist attacks. Uh, oh, hold on. That misses as he just swings forth, clobbering oh. some of the side cave wall. Damn, rolled two twos, huh? Yeah, I guess. That's just, that's just his first attack, right? Because he has advantage. He does have advantage. The, uh, Here, let me numbers. let me uh, change before you roll again. Let me change it to always roll two. That way we don't get confused if anything. All right, you can roll it again. And so it's overwhelming advantage. Uh, you get yeah. two attacks. Well, no, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, it, it, he has advantage. So that was his first attack, essentially. Okay. okay. Yeah. So go ahead and make one more attack. Twenty-two hits. That'll hit. <clears throat> As it deals fourteen points of damage. All right, uh, Alexander. So normally. I so in this situation I have an extra attack or well, I'm confused. no no no, no you, you just have advantage okay see he rolled twice because that's advantage for him yeah right okay. uh, okay. just for that thing yeah that's all okay because I didn't have the sheet set up to roll two um, until that second one all right so it's your turn all right. two swings they both hit <laughs> do they and then, they, uh, after that I'll, they uh, can I do like a a bonus action to kind of make an intimidate check? Yeah, absolutely. Intimidate. All right. Then, just in response to what he said, uh, keep your eyes on me. Okay. Let me roll a... Roll wisdom. All right. <sighs> and he just focuses. He turns completely towards you. As you dealt him... Uh, 12 points of damage, and you notice that this guy's actually wearing this painted black splint armor, by the way. The same armor you had, or have. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I'll add 12 back to you. Um, same armor you had before he got damaged. Alrighty, uh, Atlas. At okay, one second. I get... Damn. I'm good. So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna attack this guy again. Uh, these guys are they on the ground or are they? No, they're 30 feet the up when they are. Oh, how cool would it be if I just went like, ran, disengaged, ran over there, levitated up to their level, and just fucked them. <laughs> but it'd it, be cool. Uh, but then I'd be surrounded, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh Dude. god, what the hell was her name? It would have been cool. Though. Who played with us in? Rune Lords. Jessa? Jessa. Je yeah, where sometimes doing the cool shit isn't actually cool when you make it, you know, when you're dying and bad. Yeah, I know. I was just saying right. how cool would it be? I didn't actually do it. Due to All its, right, so. due to its, uh, you make two attacks, one of your katana, wakazashi. Yeah. Um, the 17 actually misses on this one as it's deflects easily with its rapier. But the second one the hits. Wakazashi. I get him right across the chest. <laughs> Looks over at you. A new yeah. scorch mark in his armor. Oh, Primordial damn. life. I say die quick. And he just kind of looks at and you. Then, uh, yeah, three damage though. God damn it. I need I need somebody up here with me to give me a sneak attack. That's the problem. <laughs> All right. Fell, it's your turn. All right. Let's move. Uh, that's still 35, right? Uh ruler yeah let's move there and uh let's take double shots at him all right the uh dragonborn Fuck. yeah all right you miss the first one come on baby you Fucking miss the God. second one <laughs> almost hits atlas <laughs> atlas you dodge back as fells trying to hit you again with his uh bow attacks <laughs> shit man all right 
So, jerk. this guy up here, as he's turned to you, Alexander, old man, I'll kill you. And you're not quite sure how to take that, I guess, because you're still 19 in your own body. But, uh... Alexander is livid. Yeah, he makes three attacks on you, then. Damn. No he's just flailing wildly. Hearts, man. And Look at you. you just glance to the side, you duck under Maybe one. Old man, but your life is far shorter. <laughs> <laughs> and he spits at your feet. And then this guy, let's see if he recharges. He does not recharge. Uh, in which case, he just makes a single attack. Um, uh, 15. Nice. Nice. Alright, these guys spend the rest of their action. They are now on the ground. Alright, Dannerby. All right, same same deal. I'm attacking with the with my uh, my crossbow. You quickly load it up with a bolt and fire. Unfortunately, missing wildly. Um, God damn. Yeah. And then, uh, shield guardian is my Ulfbert is making this multi attack. Okay. And that's Fuck. a miss. So that's the first one, right? That's the first yeah. one. Second one hits, though. Yes. Okay. It's not looking too good. You think you can kill us? Please. All right, Alexander. Okay, two more swings at him. All right. Oh, are you nice. with that crit? What do you want to do? I want to stab it through his mouth. He's about to start saying something. You just take your long sword and stab it clean through the back. And blood gets on you a little bit, Dannerby, as you see the end of a long sword through the back of this guy's skull. And he, you yank it back, and he just falls limply to the ground. All right, then. And I will charge up to here. Okay. Atlas. Not a second thought. Yep. Any, anything else? Sorry, uh, sorry, Alexander. That, um, that's. I can't. Can I use that second attack or no? Yeah. Yeah, you can still. You still you have two attacks. Yeah, you can split it up. Reroll that one then. Mm. Yep. You don't have to reroll it. Okay. Um, twenty-three hit that guy. Yeah, twenty-three hits. He and... looks very bad. And I will use maneuvering attack. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die. To, uh, here, it yeah, it doesn't read. Yeah, yeah no. um, and uh, I'll allow Atlas to move his uh, speed uh, to. Hold on. Anyway, right? Like he can just move his speed. Uh, that creature can use its reaction to move ha uh, move up to half its speed without provoking opportunity attacks from the target. Uh, if you know if you don't want to move, I'll just use the die. I think it's yeah. No, a D8 is the maneuvering. Right, you add that on as extra damage. Yep. A D8. Ahead, oh, yeah. with that, you essentially <laughs> you're angry. This angry old man comes up to him and slashes into him, finding a chink in the armor. His arm just all of a sudden hangs loose, and the rest of it takes off the upper half of his skull, his face, and he falls down. Meanwhile, I want you to make an intimidation check. All right. As the four guards drop to their knees, they see their two leaders, essentially. Nice. And they start looking up. They start putting their hands on the rope to climb back up. Atlas, it's your turn. Uh... I would like to, uh, I can do 90 feet of movement. Yes. Hey, does Kevin know what I'm going to do right now? Uh, Doesn't matter. Just do uh, it. Just do it. Uh, I, and I, fine. I'm just going to start hacking. They can start running away, but we'll chase them down. We, they shouldn't leave. I, I'll yell no, no retreat, no surrender, and go here and attack this dude. Make a... 
<laughs> intimidation check on that. Unfortunately, Alexander's intimidation was much higher to scare them away than stay in. Alright. Uh, these are... This guy. Well, did you... Uh, 16 hits, a 9 does not. Yeah, advantage? Not yet. <laughs> they're, they're almost about to start climbing on a rope, but not, not quite. Oh, okay, they're not... Gotcha. All right, but eight points of damage. Oh, uh, they have. Ooh, okay. Um, Fell, it's your turn. If Atlas doesn't want to do anything else, uh, I'll. I'm gonna move to here. Okay. Um, Fell, it's your turn. I'm gonna move behind my buddy Alexander here. I have to shoot over his shoulder. He's scaring the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> Alexander just been wrecking <laughs> shit ever since he aged. Maybe it's a good thing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire the two longbow arrows into into the guy that was just hit. Ooh, oh, Chris. inspiration. Um, you do not need to attack another time. As the bolt oh. just takes him right in the center. And he uh, falls back. As opposed to taking a second attack. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, they're they're going down. Um, the one that Atlas is currently on, I'm going to take uh, my next shot at. That's not so good. No. Unfortunately, no. It's not a hit. I was still aiming for the first guy. I had to adjust quickly. Say, uh... This guy goes, he drops the rope, pulls out a sword, looks over to the other guys. Go! Tell Harald! Make it back to camp! I'll finish these! And he has a, a look in his eyes that he knows there's no possible way that he can win. But he actually has a spear, not a long sword. 17 versus your AC. That is a hit. Why does it... Oh yeah, two hands, that's right. So it's actually 8 damage, not 4. It does the weird thing. I don't like it. Versatile, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's 8 damage to you. And then he moves right here to protect his friends. These guys get up 30 feet. Actually, they're going to try athletics, that shit. One of them is. All right, that guy's good. That guy's good. They actually move. They disengage and they move. Uh, double move their entire movement, 60 feet with the athletics check. They climb all the way to the top. They look down. Uh, mm, they can't quite cut the ropes. That was all their action. All right, Danner. Hey. Yep. So it, in that one six seconds fan they climbed 60 feet crested over the top and are on top that they're they're getting on top now they didn't All right. yeah they're they're they reached 60 feet with their athletics check it's either you can climb half your speed with no check or you um can climb your full speed with an athletics check so banner v um Okay, can I climb up into my construct's hand? It is... Yes, you have noticed that it has dropped everything that it had. Remember, because remember it was holding some okay. stuff? It's all on the floor. You easily fit in its hand. Okay. If you command it I to do it, so. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to climb up into its hand, and then that's going to be the end it's of... Gonna, is it going to throw you? Chuck it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> throw the gnome. <laughs> that, 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 that was the plan, but if I end my action, if I end my action this turn, I can't, like, catch on to the rope or, like, attack or anything after I get up there, even if it does throw me, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's using its action to throw you. You'd still have your action. Okay, so... But you'd also gonna... take damage. Even if I catch the rope at the top of my arc... It'd be a, it'd have to be a really good <laughs> athletics check to throw you that far. 
Um, I mean, his athletics is plus four. <laughs> this Not is bad. gonna be a bad. All right, All right athletics. Um, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him run up thirty feet with me in tow. Okay. Like right there, and then I want him to, I want him to throw me. Oh, away. oh! I thought you were throwing him from that, from back there. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's gonna softball throw you or something. All right. So go ahead and move him up there. Rope. Yeah. Oh. Choose a rope. Like what, what's the thing? Uh, the closest rope. Really heavy black ball. Do that one. Shot put. Shot put. Yeah. That's why I, I thought essentially what was going to happen. All right. Throw. Um. I'll use the same. Mm, it's looking at this. Make an athletics check. Is Bell's hover thing like? Uh. What kind of movement is that? Like, what kind of action? How many times can you do that? Of what? Uh, uh, Fells flying. Uh, how oh, often Atlas's. can you do that? Well, it's once, Atlas, uh, Atlas. Atlas, how long can you do that? Uh, once a day? Alright, so you're, uh, it's spent for you. Yeah. Oh, after a long rest. We didn't long rest, we only short rested, so yeah, yeah that's what it's for us. Whatever. I have another right. that's no big deal. Um Alright. So it throws you sixteen feet essentially up in the air. Make an acrobatics check to grab onto the rope with advantage. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy, this you just gotta okay. Alright, you grab onto it. Okay. No problem. DC's 12. You got it. You're now about... You're 15 feet up. 16 feet, but you're really 15. Okay. You still have a movement. I still have a movement? Yeah, you haven't moved. Um. Ulfbert's <laughs> carried you. That's his movement. I don't know what to do from here now, actually. <laughs> like, what was my plan? <laughs> I can come up very well, I can, I? I can climb. I can climb 25 feet up, right? After if you make an athletics check, DC 12 or higher, you can climb your full speed up. If not, it's half. It, if it's just half, I don't fall off. Okay, let's do that then. All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. You start climbing up. Ah, make an acrobatics check. You said you have a... I thought you said you have a plus four to athletics. No, no that, that's Ulfbert. The construct is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make an uh, acrobatics... The I catch. Oh, DC was 10, so you're good. Uh, yeah. You catch on to it. <laughs> uh, but roll a d20. Oh, God. Your athletics might just get worse and worse. Uh. Flash R, d20. Alright. Um, oh, you're good. Hey. Athletics doesn't get worse. But you do fall to about ten. You uh, you're only ten feet up off the ground now. That's probably best because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, turn order that disappeared. Oh, there it is. Alexander, it's your turn. Okay. And so the, uh, I run up to here, and those guys are like I can see them just getting over the edge. Yeah, they're they're climbing up on the edge right now. Uh, oh, no, I took can you. you there, right? Uh, here we go. There you go. Uh, all right. And it'd be my full movement if I were to succeed in athletics check. Correct. All DC right. 12. So, and then they would be 30 feet ahead of me. Uh, it would be... Well, you could use your dash. Is... That's what they use. They use dash up the rope. If you want to do that. But it's ac athletics to do that. I'm real good at that. It's the only thing I'm good at. Um, mm, I would say to... And they need to cut the ropes. They're trying to. They... Uh, yeah, they might. And so if I get... If I succeed, I will be able to like catch right up to them. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Mm. You got this. 
if I use my extra attack, uh, like my extra attack, if I only use, no, no, that doesn't make sense. No, um, your action, you only get one action that grants you two attacks. Yeah, yeah that's right. But yeah. All right, I'm going to. I just climb up after him. Whatever, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to attack if right. I. So athletics. Um, yeah. Go for it. And he does try to spear you. A 16 does not hit, yes. I believe. <laughs> As you just away. climb up, and you're actually right on the heels of that guy. You see Alexander just... <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. A gym teacher would be proud. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what happened to Alexander, but that ghost did something to him. Um, Al Atlas. All right. This guy's um, shaking with his spear. <laughs> so, how's it work? So, I can, I get my bonus action to dash for 30 feet. I get my move speed of 30 feet. So, I don't feel I need to make a athletics check. I'm just a fast motherfucker, right? Well, uh, you have I, your bonus action to dash. Yeah. All right. 60 feet. Half that, that is 30. Half that's 30. Half of that is 30. Your regular movement speed is 30. Half that's 15. Use your standard. Yeah, you could totally get up and down if you did not attack. Yeah. So that, that's what I want to do is I want to get, I'm going just going up the rope. And then I I should have changed, right? Because it's only 60 feet up. No, you are you would be right up there. 60 feet is so half. If I do the athletics check, then I'll get my full 90 feet. If I get double move plus 30 feet. So I would have 90 feet. The dash is double move as a bonus action. You have your movement. And you have your action that you could use to move. You could dash and dash, essentially. You would ha you have 120 feet of movement. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Then Half of that is that's... 60. You would be at the top with everything you have. All right. Well, then I'll be in the exact same position as the rest of those guys. Then I guess. And yes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the cliff side, not just the rope. All right. Um, um, in a different style, you you instead of using your sh just strength to pull you up, you just shimmy along it with using your knees and legs. Just but very quickly, your hands are moving up very very fast, and you get to the top. Fail. I want to take a pot shot at the dude climbing over the edge and with a hope that once he's got narrow sticking out of him, he yeah. might he, drop. He might. He, he would have to make a save. Oh, that's a hit. Let me see if uh, uh, athletics to maintain. Oh, so acrobatics to catch himself. He does not. He falls 60 feet in, in addition to nine damage. He goes, hur, hur, and he passes you. Uh, Alexander <laughs> gives you a look <laughs> and he just passes you uh, dealing was it uh... yeah he's dead he goes <laughs> and you can actually hear the audible splat of blood coming out of his skin with the impact of that force I, I think I want to try that again. All right. <laughs> That's a miss. Damn it. Oh, no. It's got advantage. He's hanging over the edge. Hey, yeah, okay. That's a hit. Let's see if he... Uh, yeah. Athletics check. Oh, this is acrobatics to hold on. I mean, to catch himself. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this guy also just goes... Oh, oh, and he uh, takes... 19 points of damage. He's still alive. But paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Well, how much is your damage? Yeah, no, he's dead. The bow well, sticking out of him. <laughs> Just killed him. He's bleeding out. Dannerby. Skewered by the arrow. Yeah, skewered by the arrow. The arrow, the fall just pushes the arrow all the way through his armor and through his heart. And he stops moving. Dannerby. Um... I got a couple of questions. You're ten how, feet. How tall? How tall is Uthbert? He's uh nine feet. 
So he can he can just reach up and yeah. You're looking. Uh, you're essentially right, like, just slightly above is. where his eye level is. You're looking down on. He's just looking yeah. up at you. And you said that the platform underneath was was like a lift of some sort. No, no, not anymore. Not anymore. Um, the the usage of that is crumbled. It's done. Okay. Um. And then last question. Uh. Never mind. Uh, All right. Wait. What are you going to do? So I am going to basically just drop onto Ulfbert's shoulder. All right. Make an acrobatics check. Pretty easy. Ten or more. You say that. Oh. oh yeah. You like. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I guide myself real quick? <laughs> no, it's too late. You're already uh, in no. this case. Well, uh, actually, yeah, you can guide as a bonus. It's a bonus action or reaction. You have to hit the four uh, on the D four. Yeah, you have to hit the four. <laughs> I haven't had very lucky rolls at this point, so. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Make a uh, no. DC ten acrobatics to avoid the first ten feet of damage. Acrobatics. Oh hey. hey! You, you fall prone, but no damage is done. You hear some. Okay. <laughs> His feet kind of went. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all right, anything else from you? <laughs> um, that that was my movement. Yeah. Yeah, that was your movement. Um, then that's it. <laughs> all right, you just. Uh, <laughs> all right, um, Alexander. All right, I I will move. My full speed down, like my full movement speed down. Yeah. Uh, that gets me to like 30 feet. Yeah. If well, are are you going to make a check to just go all the way down to the ground, or you just want to move um, half your speed? If I were to uh, get all the way to the ground, that would include my action, right? Yeah, it would. Actually, I've not used my action what's that surge. Thing called? Yeah, I've not used my action surge. Yeah. Um, sure, I'll do that. Athletics. DC 12. Mm -hmm. All right. No. Nice. Essentially, you just see in the moment of around 12 seconds, you just see Alexander <laughs> an arrow uh, fells, fell, fell the enemy. And all of a sudden, he just goes, let's go of the rope kind of rope burn. <laughs> and he lands on his feet right next to the guy, has his long sword ready. Axon surge? Yes. And. Uh, in doing that, moving all the way down, I will kind of like do a downward slash moving. All right, you just, you that. bring your long sword out as you're falling and just <laughs> right at him. Go ahead and make an attack roll. That's a hit. All right, and I get my second. Has that guy been hit? Not yet. No one's hit him. This guy in the middle. He was hit. With what? Wasn't he? I thought. Uh... I didn't hit him. No, I no. hit the guy that was in, okay. in, in, yeah. in this corner. All right. I, was. I, I, took back. I haven't done anything. So 14 anything. points. <laughs> 13 hit? You booped an assassin on the You face. have advantage, essentially, right now. Okay, cool. Yeah. But he's dead. And I, I guess I will use... Uh, he's looking rough. <laughs> A big gash goes right there, barely missing his spine <laughs> on his back. As you and land on your feet. Second one, it'll be more of a stab. So then that'll be a pushing attack. Okay. Mm. Pushing attack. Wait, we'll see if uh, okay, Alexander's in just a. <sighs> He's angry at everything that's happened today, and with that, <laughs> he looks at you. Blood goes in a spray as you withdraw your longsword, falls to his knees, looks up at you. And falls back. Alexander pulls the sword, uh, as he falls back, he pulls the sword out of his body and just kind of, with one long swipe, like, takes the blood off it and sheathes it. <laughs> Atlas climbs down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Am I, uh, Am I too late to try and run and get a potion down the guy's throat? You can try. Yeah. Uh, it's the only potion I got, but I do want to do that. 
Um, and then action. I want to run there. Uh, throw the potion to him. Uh, All right. Just pour you, you, you lift his head back, tilting the bottle up as well, and his eyes open. And that is uh, where we'll end the session tonight. Real quick, flip him over and manacle him as he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Sure, you or manacle him, that. but that's the end of the session. Yep. But anyways, guys, uh, that's the session tonight. So uh, we'll try to find it in hey, time. Real quick, roll for, roll for plus one on your athletics from now on. You All created right. that athletics. Yeah. Can I roll? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Roll D20. Just a D20. So D20, D20. D20. Ten or better. Yeah. Ten or better. Hey, guess what? Hey. Guess what, son? Get a plus one athletics. Add another plus one to your athletics. Should I put that in the bonus? Yeah, put that whatever. in your bonus and make a note because you can only have, I think, up to three or plus five or something like that. I have okay. the rules written out somewhere. But All make right, a note uh, of it. Awesome. And... All right, everyone. That's it for tonight. Say goodbye. Goodbye. The old man is more athletic. <laughs> goodbye, everyone.